From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Hey, Station Knight and I had the opportunity to go over to Monte Casino this afternoon. We got to talk to the kindergarten classes there. And my dad, who's 92 years old, he was watching us stream that uh, at 6 o'clock tonight. And he said, I saw you stand in front of those kids and you could stand to lose some weight. That's what my 92-year-old dad said when he saw this picture. <laughs> so that's hurtful. Anyway, thanks, Dad. Anyway, they need to watch it in Nebraska. Anyway, uh, today, and I don't know about you, but it has been blowing and going for a long time. Wind gusts at 40 miles per hour. This is for April, just in April so far. We've had nine out of our 22 days have gusts at least 40 miles an hour. If you thought it was windy, it has been. And gusts at 30 miles per hour, like over three-fourths of the days, basically. I mean, that's just a lot of wind. Even for a windy month, that's just a lot of wind. And we have a major wind maker right now going on out to the west in Utah, into Colorado. These were thunderstorm areas. It has been unbelievable what's going on. Wind gusts to 68 miles per hour at Colby, Kansas. And then also there were some uh, in towns and communities in Nebraska that were even evacuated because of big fires out there. We've got a massive fire going on also in northeast portions of New Mexico in some of the hilly terrain there. We had 44 mile per hour winds in Oklahoma City and also in Tulsa. During the course of the day, we end up with some strong to severe thunderstorms, and then they just kind of flickered out a little bit, uh, but they could come back again, and we're looking for the severe weather risk to be tomorrow, running from Oklahoma, including Tulsa, back into eastern Kansas. If you have travel plans, be advised. And it's going to be windy because tomorrow wind advisories are back in effect for our area. And tonight, the winds will probably only die down here to where they are now at about 20, 25 miles an hour. And they'll be back up to 30 to 40 miles an hour tomorrow. We'll be, we're here in the 70s now. And we'll be generally in the mid to upper 60s in the morning. So it's going to be a breezy, warm start. Could be a few isolated showers that try to move in with some sprinkles around 9 o'clock. Don't worry, it's not the storms that we've been talking about. It's just a quick shower or two, maybe a sprinkle. And through the day, though, windy. And temperatures will be in the upper 70s. 70s, low 80s across the area, so it's not too bad. But during the late afternoon hours, there is expected to be a line of thunderstorms. This is the most active. <clears throat> excuse me. This is the most active part of the thunderstorms that are going to be moving across areas of western Oklahoma. Or I should say, western part of our viewing area down into south central and southwest Oklahoma, and then that is going to turn into potentially large hail, damaging winds. And there could be an isolated tornado. So that's why we want you to be very careful of what's going on tomorrow evening. Now, this is the most aggressive model, but I'm showing you that because this would be the worst case scenario the way it looks as we look on into the overnight time period. It's still hanging out, but it's not as severe. And then by morning, it's kind of calming down. But watch what happens. Morning temperatures in the 50s, cooler. But there's a boundary down here that will also lead to thunderstorms reforming and firing Again, on the southeast side of our viewing area, that could include here in Tulsa. And then we could also see some severe weather across southeastern Oklahoma. How much rain? One to three inches. Some areas could have more. It's not western Oklahoma where we'd love to have some of that. We are targeting, again, severe weather threat coming in late in the afternoon, really early evening, up until about midnight. After that, it's mainly rain. But then there is a chance of flooding rains if you're in southeast Oklahoma on Sunday afternoon. The biggest threats right now would be some chunks of hail isolated to a few tornadoes and then winds of 60 miles per hour. This picture comes into us from uh, Miami up in the northeast corner. Uh, this is from Zach, John Deere, and John Deere planter. He's planting corn. He said, well, it's all right, but I need some rain. It's 75 degrees, and he needs rain, and everybody would like rain and not a whole bunch of nasty stuff going on. 68 in the morning. We're talking about temperature at 75 at noontime. 80 in the afternoon, warm and windy, and then that chance of thunderstorms tomorrow night, we bumped up now to 80% and still that chance of rain and thunderstorms coming back on Sunday. Overall, we'll keep an eye on what's going on, and you can enjoy a good day tomorrow. Just hang on, carry a bowling ball around, as we said before, and you'll be fine.